so my daughter, Brielle, she's at the stage where she's a sponge and just literally repeats every goddamn thing that she hears. <laughs> um, so my, my question to you guys is when, you know, your kids were, you know, cognizant of speech and learning it and being able to speak, anyone who knows us and has heard, you know, the only podcast that matters or this show knows that we all have a predilection toward profanity. How You're kidding. difficult was it for you guys to start to like curb your language when you knew that things were going to be repeated? Was it difficult? Was it a light switch you were able to just kind of turn off because you knew there's a time and a place for it? Did things slip? Were things repeated by your kids? Yeah, I mean, I had to practice a little bit. Um, you know, me being a Christian, you know, I had to zip it up. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't curse as often as, as I used to. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, I would just kind of play it off to my wife. Sometimes, you know, if, if I'm about to slip out, I'll just be like, yeah, mother... <laughs> <laughs> I'll just make stupid noises and then he'll copy it. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's one the way to go. Strategy I know. I don't know what else to give you. Right? right. Yeah. It's just, I don't know like how you guys have dealt with it because I have not been good about it. And yeah. she has repeated some things that I definitely don't want her repeating to anyone else. Oh, please tell us, <laughs> please. Oh please. yeah. No, there are stories. Um, I mean, obviously like one of my favorite phrases, which I say probably 40,000 times a day is what the fuck in <laughs> various contexts. And, um, one time I had her on the changing table and I was just like getting her ready for bed or whatever. And I didn't realize that she had done like a massive blowout shit in her diaper. Awesome. And um, <laughs> like, I didn't smell it. I didn't know it happened. And I'm like, just trying to get her ready. And I open it up and I'm like, just blown away. And I'm like, what the, and I deliberately stopped myself from saying the word that always comes next. And I pause for a second and she goes, what the fuck? And I'm like, no, nope, no, 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 no. Like, no, she, we're she not doing that. Heard me. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> so she she must have heard it, obviously. And she just kind of soaked it in. And my parents told me that they caught her saying it. She was sitting there <laughs> playing with the toy. And she's just like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's a meet the fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> so and it's it's the craziest thing. Like, she just needs to hear something once and she repeats it and she remembers it. And, you know, we're all born and raised in Jersey and we. <laughs> You know, every other word for most of our lives has been fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I understand. Ryan. It's, it's hard to, you know, pin it down when, uh, yeah. when your yeah, kids no, start repeating no. everything. Yeah. It's, it's funny because, uh, I used, I always say to my son, like, uh, you know, when I make him eat his broccoli or I make him do some, you know, chores, now he's old enough. I'm like, yeah, you better like it. You better yeah. like it. <laughs> and then the one day, like, he pooped in his pants and I had to clean up. And then he was like, you better like it. <laughs> I really thought the end of that was going to be, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's a real problem around here with kids. Well, what about you, Andrew? Liara still isn't conversing as much as your children are because right. she has autism. Um, she uh, obviously does, uh, you know, she can speak she to us. She does, she does, right. Yeah, she she knows how to ask for things and things like that. But like, conversation wise compared to your two kids she, she's not on that level yet mm-hmm. um so she hasn't really picked up on the amount of cursing that my wife does oh yeah she's yeah for the record she's far worse uh, than you uh, oh, yes. exponentially worse. worse than you yeah <laughs> um, so you guys haven't but, had to but, worry as much or uh, no we do try to like like we try to uh control like saying shut up uh-huh to mm. her, direct like directed at her yeah, not just in general, because then it's it's definitely one of those things where the child takes on patterns of the parent. Right. So, you know, now growing up and having a kid, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, now I know why why bullies exist or why some kids are just assholes in general, because you look at their parents or, or why parents. I got a vasectomy yeah. at 13. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes um, sense. However, my daughter catches on to music very quickly. Mm-hmm. Um. All, oh, all kinds, good. all kinds of music. Um, not that she can play it, but she can already like she's already making up her own songs. Like she'll, you know, like the, the monkeys on the bed kind of thing. But she'll put it to whatever is playing on the radio at the time. So she already knows rhythm and beat and things like that. Um, and her current favorite in my car is um, a band called Wind Rose, which is like a power metal group, and they did the song Diggy Diggy Hole. Okay. 
<laughs> is this mining what metal? What are, harmless? <laughs> There's no cursing in it what whatsoever. Does that mean? <laughs> but it's so all right, backstory on that. Um Diggy Diggy Hole was a song created by another podcast uh that special that uh focuses talks on about Minecraft. potty training. Oh Minecraft. No, okay. I can wish. Um that'd be handy. It'd be, it'd be the next baby shark. Yeah. Diggy diggy hole, clean your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that hole to the so, to the bowl. Yeah, yeah. I think we got so it. I think they, we got it down. They, they they focus on Minecraft and they started the one guy just started making this song up on the th- on on the fly talking about how he's a dwarf and he digs holes and things like that. And diggy diggy hole was the chorus and it just exploded. Now this was a couple years ago and now all of a sudden uh the band Windrose picked it up because it just kind of fits with their whole gimmick of being the 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 Lord of the Rings style power metal. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dungeons and, and Dragons metal and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um and yeah, that, that's her song. That's her song. Diggy diggy that, hole. She, she will literally run out of wherever she is. If I like if I cast it from my phone onto the TV, she will run out from wherever she is to watch the video and dance so to speak to it. Dan was talking about how his son picked up on on music and Dan was playing circle jerks and he was going wow 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 <laughs> nice. in the street. And th- that is I mean look, I'm sure we all did it. We probably all picked up on just what we heard and then you just mimic it. I mean whether it's cursing or whether it's music, that's yeah. how you build context and it's funny that e- even the idea <laughs> that Ryan's daughter knows that what the is followed by fuck. <laughs> so yeah. even if he it's doesn't bad, say it's it, bad news, man. Yeah, she put it together as, oh, I know what that. I know where this sentence goes. <laughs> and despite the fact that, like, I had to put on a serious face and tell her, like, you can't say that. Like, it's in there. It's in her head, and she's totally. not going to forget it. <laughs> well, that's it. You you, and... you can't laugh because then it reinforces, and you don't want right. to do that. And it's so hard not to laugh. <laughs> oh, I, I would Even have a lot of trouble. You know, it's wrong. Like when your kid says something like that, I'm just like, no, no, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kind of sit back and go. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So there's and that. Nodding yeah, his head and so saying, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got this to deal with now. And like, I've had to tell my parents too. I was like, listen, I may have said some things that Brielle's repeated. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to tone it down too. Like, especially my mother. <laughs> oh, she was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you like, know what if I'm you talking hear, about. If yeah. you hear Yippie Kaye, motherfucker, I just yeah. want you to know. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was Jen. That wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> 